Hi folks, welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at the chapter 9 hypothesis test for a single population proportion, uh, my open math homework. And in this one, there's only two questions, but we're going to take a look at question number two uh, together and use that as our example. All right, so this question says only about 14% of all people can wiggle their ears. Is this percent lower for millionaires? One of 394 millionaires surveyed, of those, 35 could wiggle their ears. What can be concluded at the alpha equals 0 0.1 level of significance? Okay, so we are, uh, in this study, we see the word, um, well, we know it's in the section of proportion, but we also don't see any like specific data here, all right? So we're looking at a z-test for a population proportion. Now, the null hypothesis, okay, when we're looking at the z-test, we have p, not mu, okay? So we can actually go ahead and click p for both of these, but the null hypothesis is equal to, let's see, 14% of people can wiggle their ears. So 0.14. Okay, and our um, null or our alternative hypothesis is that we think this might be lower for the millionaires. Okay, so our and decimal is still going to be 0.14, and it's just that we think it's going to be less than that. Okay. All right, so that's sort of like looking at the things in general. And now at this point, we're going to go ahead and uh, hop over to stat crunch. Okay, so it says the test statistic and the p value. So we're looking for the test statistic and the p value and its comparison to alpha. All right, those are the things we're looking for. So what we're going to do in stat crunch is we're going to go to stat, we're going to go to portion stat, one sample, and not with data, but with a summary, okay? And so in this, we have more of a binomial distribution. Like either you can wiggle your ears or you can't, okay? Now, if I scroll back up for a moment, it says that there were 35 of those nine, uh, 394 millionaires could wiggle their ears. So 35 successes out of 394 observations. Now, my hypothesis test is not uh, 0 0.5, but I have to use that um, 0 0.14 that I thought it might be, or that it's less than that, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click compute, and I'll scroll back down. There, great, okay. So our test statistic, which is not the T, but it's the Z, all right? Our Z stat is negative 2.927, okay? And so we just got that right off of stat crunch. The P value is 0 0.0017. And again, we get that right from stat crunch. Okay. Now, how does this p value compare to the alpha value? Well, let's get the annotation back on. All right. And my p value is 0 0.0017. And how does that compare to our alpha value of, um, of 0 0.1? Okay, well, I think we can see that our p value is actually a lot smaller than our alpha value. Okay, and so that means we want to choose that it is smaller than that. Now, if the p value is smaller than our alpha value, all that means is we are going to reject our null hypothesis. Okay, now that's fancy language for this null hypothesis is likely not true, okay? So that null hypothesis saying that 14% of, um, of the population can wiggle our ears, saying that might not actually be accurate, okay? 
And so now, if we look at the final conclusion, um, I think we can see that the data suggests that the population proportion is significantly lower than 14% at an alpha of 0.1. So there is statistical evidence, or sig statistically significant evidence to conclude that the population of the population proportion of millionaires who can wiggle their ears is lower than 14%, okay? So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon.